Don't, don't act you. like you do. Hey guys, we're back. This is Soraya, back again for another video. And I'm Sienna, you guys already know that though. Today, we're going to be talking about like this generation, you know? Yeah, and Boba just now wanted to decide and join us. We're just gonna get straight into it. Talk about this generation. By this generation, we mean our generation, not <laughs> the current generation that is growing up. So like the little children, because that's a whole like other story. Too, We're still growing. well. I'm no, still growing. I I think there's a difference though. Because like when you think about it, like these kids nowadays, they're having smartphones and they're like four years old. I'm like, I didn't have my first smartphone until I was in the sixth grade. You know what? I had a phone. So I had a phone, work. but it was a flip phone in <laughs> second grade. I have my mom's old flip phone. So it was like a side slider. Yep. Well, at first I had one of those that flipped out and then I had the ones that slide. But yeah, so I feel like there's a bit of a difference. Well, we're specifically talking about like Generation people are Z. Yeah. yeah, so our generation. So people that are like in high school right about now yeah. or like just barely graduated. We're going to talk about dating in this generation. You want to start? Sure. So I am with someone. I'm with my best friend. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's cute because um, I feel like sometimes people just are like, I feel like they forget that you need someone that you can like actually have a conversation with. Just like day-to-day -day normal sad. things. Oh my gosh, yes. Because I have a lot of friends yeah. that talk to me about like, they're, sorry, I keep yawning. I have a lot of friends that like talk, <laughs> <laughs> I friends that talk to me like their day-to-day. -day. I just like their love life. And a lot of, something that a lot of people nowadays are like really stuck on is the idea of being in a relationship instead of actually like why are yeah. you in a relationship yeah like, i just want to be in a relationship because i'm bored or i just want to be in a relationship yep. to be in a relationship and a lot of times yeah. you end up being like i need to be in a relationship now even if there mm. are like no people that you're actually interested in you yeah. kind of just like pick someone you know called mother's calling <laughs> we're back anyway <laughs> but, um like more on that topic yeah. not just pick someone but pick someone that you're like not happy with or not satisfied with or someone you don't really want to be with. But like a lot of the times people are with placeholders in a relationship. I agree. I feel like sometimes also a lot of people go from one person to the next mm -hmm. or they go back to their ex because They're it's what they know. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's really saying hi right now. Hey, I feel like a lot of the time people will go back to what's comfortable also because they cannot be lonely and they don't know how to be lonely they don't know how to be independent without someone and so they either just go they keep going to the next person like, yeah or they go back to who they were with yeah and i don't and they think compromise. like this makes you a bad person but i but feel it's like just not the healthiest you know what this ties into social media i feel like the need to yeah. be liked mm -hmm. in a way that or to be loved yeah to be liked yeah. or to be loved or to feel like you are. Yeah. Because a lot of, like, we get, like, same thing as even, like, places or, like, things like, so, like, not social media, but, like, TikTok. Yeah. The idea of instant gratification. Yeah. Like, a lot of people are addicted to it. When you think mm -hmm. that you can be in a relationship now, why do you need something that could be, you know, like, not even, not even everyone wants a long-term relationship, but if you want a long-term yeah. relationship, but, like, you don't want to put the effort into it, like, I don't need to. I can just get a short-term relationship and not be happy. Because of that, it's so hard to find people in this generation that are looking for something long-term. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh! And then, like, I feel like a lot of the time, like, it's just people, like, going straight into the next thing without, like, healing from mm -hmm. whatever the last thing was. Like, and not it's just like, love. Not just love. Yeah, and I think a lot of people forget how to love themselves first or mm -hmm. how to work on themselves first how to just be independent and confident within themselves yeah and then that's why people become so codependent in relationships see even just with people at our school or like past friends of mine that i'm not really close with anymore they just they didn't have that independence and like confidence before mm -hmm. they got in the relationship and then they got it because someone like found them attractive like someone gives and liked the them and gave yourself. them the love that mm -hmm. they weren't really giving to themselves and then that made them more confident in the way but then that made them codependent on their partner yeah so i don't know i like feel like it's just yeah. it's sad i feel like you have people just like 
not really working on themselves or just looking for like the quickest thing yeah, yeah that like, they can we're get. a part of it too you know like we have yeah. access to everything we want right this segment yeah you know i think like that's a big part of not necessarily the problem because kind of just how things are like i don't want to say it's a problem because it's like reality yeah. for us it's like oh i want to be connected to this person now you can just text them or i want to do this yeah. now you can go like fly out so everything is so instant in the yeah. moment that we are so we're not used to like really working for things and i think mm-hmm. like when i said not just love like with accomplishments like what we actually want to do with yeah. ourselves or even self-esteem like what am i actually mm-hmm. capable of like if you don't believe you can do it like perfect the first right. time like if you don't believe you can get it instantly like a lot of people just give to up. give up yeah yeah because like isn't that weird yeah like it's so normal it, for us but yeah you get everything instantly you know yeah and it just honestly it ties instant gratification gratification just ties into everything it really does because especially I, I for our generation yeah like this time of history kind of sometimes people don't realize what they want mm-hmm. or i feel like sometimes people don't realize what a good thing really was for them mm-hmm. and so they just they fumble the bag and then they're like and then they like might try and go back to someone or go back to that person mm-hmm. but really in reality that person may just realize like i feel like a lot of the time that person might have realized their worth mm-hmm. and so they're just like no mm-hmm. like they don't need that anymore or like if an ex of theirs is like trying to come back and they're like trying to find themselves but like mm-hmm. they still have their ex that's trying to pull them and hold them back yeah. and it's kind of like sad. You, like you are worth more than just a quick fix yeah like right. even just a quick relationship a yeah. quick anything like you are worth more than someone's desire to feel needed like you know everyone yeah. especially with like choosing a life partner everyone really deserves to you know like if it's what you want because not even everyone wants this yeah. i think that people yeah. need to be clear about it like if you don't want a relationship and you don't act with, like you yeah, do like do not mess don't, if you don't want a relationship yeah. I think like, that's a problem too. If you do want some things, know in your heart that you are worthy of everything that you want. Exactly. But you cannot settle for less. We yeah. We settle as a generation. Yeah, we do. Oh my gosh. We settle so much. And I feel like a lot of the time people will lower their standards just to have someone or have something. Yes. And in life, it's like we have yeah. this negative idea of what life is like mm-hmm. life is dystopian it's depressing like everything's too much it's too expensive right. you can't do anything so a lot of people believe i just i can't achieve anything you know right. i like yes it is hard now but a lot of people kind of give up on everything like yeah. a school a lot of people give up on school not yeah. going to college necessarily but like just give up just on their on present normal school moment. yeah or even taking care of themselves because like things yeah. are coming at you so fast and so instantly nowadays mm-hmm. that it's really hard to keep up so like think of we're on spring break up. now yay <laughs> spring, break. spring break even though it's snowing today guys oh it, it was bad the snow it was so bad insert video now oh my gosh yeah. dude this oh, is so bad. bad oh my gosh Sienna. it was so bad guys this generation social media we talked about it a little bit but i feel like social media has became so present Oh my you goodness. could even look at like a four-year-old and they're literally just making tiktoks my or sisters, they are like my sister makes tiktoks all the time. she's her sister's not four years old though let's she's let's get, let's yeah, get my, that right yeah, yeah let's get that right she's a little older than that but bit. you can see like how social media is affecting not only our generation but the upcoming generation mostly yeah. so quickly like it's crazy to like, me it's just because it's part of daily life I didn't even get social media until the ninth grade. And that was like my Christmas present for that year. And that's how I literally got it. Mm-hmm. And I still don't even have like every social media out there. Like I don't have TikTok, Twitter, mm-hmm. you know, Snapchat. Like I feel like, I don't know. And I feel like social media it can easily consume so many people. I feel like and it already the, has. The, it already has, but I feel like so many people can just find themselves just scrolling 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 for hours and hours and not even realizing it i do it's an escape definitely like i don't want to do this <laughs> See? i'm just gonna yeah and and i feel like i do too but i feel like some people for some people like you look at their screen time and like like literally my anatomy teacher last year she said she had a freshman in her class and their screen time was literally 23 hours and i'm like how is that a thing like my at least my social media screen time meaning literally just instagram because 
that's like the main social hours. media I'm on. Instagram, I might be on there like usually an hour and a half to maybe two hours. And that's my daily average usually. 20, but 23 hours of like, but it, it wasn't social media only in this case, but it was screen time in general. But 23 hours, that's one hour that they're only not on their phone out of the whole day. That's insane to me. Like that's literally insanity. That. Oh my gosh, when do you sleep? Like, when do you sleep? They're either just playing music constantly or like they're just mm. on their phone constantly. Like they're probably only getting, yeah, they're probably only getting like, I would be I would be surprised if they're getting more than four hours of sleep. You know what? Like, like especially I would say, um, like as a baby baby, like the tablet kids, people who are literally raised. <laughs> iPad on, kids. Oh my god, what's yeah. What's it called? Like just yes, iPad kids. Yeah. But like my sister, I love my sister. <laughs> like even not just my sister, but like other people's siblings. Oh yeah. Even sometimes what I do, like yeah. you will have one video that has two videos in it, one telling you something one playing with something and then like music in the background and then like you're probably eating and playing a game while doing it too and it's like so overstimulated yeah like you do not need to be constantly constantly stimulated and i do it like i'll be cooking and cleaning i'm like let me put a show on and then i like listen to music <laughs> and then i eat a little while doing it and it's like oh my gosh i feel like it's doing? insane though because i feel like there's so many ways to use social media no matter what it yeah. is like music Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, whatever. There's so many ways to use it in a healthy way, but there's also so many ways that people can just let it consume themselves and become so toxic. I feel like yeah. we shouldn't make it sound like a bad thing. Cause it's not going anywhere. Cause it's not entirely yeah, bad. It's yeah, it's not bad and it's not yeah. going anywhere. Like, you know, even if it was an entirely bad thing, you kind of have to learn how to live with it in a healthy way. Just exactly. because yeah. it is really negative mindset to say, oh, well, it's a bad thing, but it's I'm not gonna get rid of it, so I guess it's just bad. Yeah. You know, like, you can't just, like, give up. TikTok, for example, because I know TikTok is one that a lot of people are just like, okay, it's not benefiting me in any way. Mm -hmm. you know? I actually deleted so, TikTok because uh, yeah, a lot of people, it. so a lot of people do delete it. So that's why I'm kind of glad my mom has never let me get TikTok because I'm like, I've seen how it's affected so many people, and mm -hmm. I'm like, I already feel like sometimes I don't have enough time in a day, so if I was on TikTok so much like that, I feel like I would be like, whoa. Yeah. Like, I'm not using my time wisely at all. Other part of social media is that, like, just seeing other people on social media and, like, comparing yourself to them. Oh, yeah. Because that happens a lot. And I feel like you that... You do it in real life, too. But, like, seeing so seeing many people so at many once. people at once because of social media. You in, can like, literally... a fake way, too. Like, yeah. have you ever posted something and you look at that all the time? Never. <laughs> oh, my freaking gosh. I never... It's nice yeah. to have access to it because no more about the world yeah, you like know you, you probably more get, like, about like FOMO. basic things i have FOMO yeah. from tiktok and like, i'm i feel like i'm missing out on stuff from tiktok like i yeah. enjoyed it it was fun like you get a lot of the new trends a lot of new what's going on oh yeah like funny stuff like i don't really yeah know people talk about the loop a little yeah bit. people talk about stuff from tiktok and i'm like no i don't know i don't know what yeah. that is but like, like it's all mm. so fake you know what's crazy yeah. So I do track and field, and on my Instagram right now, all I really have is my track stuff. I lose races pretty often. I've only <laughs> ever posted races that I win. And people on my Instagram are like, oh my gosh, do you ever lose? Yes, but you're not going to see it. <laughs> like, social media is so fake. Like it's Okay, but let, let, let's be honest, you're, all, you're still a really good track star. Thank you, but like, you're I don't win all the time. Yeah, and, no, and honestly, in the real world, no one wins all the time. With anything in life, and no in one life, wins sports, all school, the time. whatever, like jobs, careers, whatever, People no one like wins all up, the time. Fail. Yeah, you and know? no one's always doing something so exciting either. Yes. That's the other thing is like, I feel like social media is where people literally just post their highlights a lot of the time. Yes, it's so just that's the best why parts. it makes. It's so easy for other people to compare themselves. It's like because it's only it's the crazy. best parts of people. Yeah, I know. It, it's really all fake. Like people be like taking a picture and bad girl. You're not just gonna win. You got ready and got back. Even if you're like, oh, I know it's fake, but I don't look like that when I wake up. Or I know it's fake, but <laughs> I just don't have the energy or the capacity to freaking do a yoga class then work out for four hours and drink my smoothies you know like feeling like your life doesn't fit the aesthetic yeah the aesthetic is fake yeah it, it literally is and the thing is like even people that you see doing all that waking up at seven five in the morning like that's not every day not realistic because you're only seeing a certain part of your own lives you're literally only seeing what they want you to see <gasps> that too it can be a little 
a little bit of a toxic fake world in social media but i feel like as long as you learn how to use it in healthy ways like you can you'll be fine it, like you can learn you know yeah. i think it takes a lot of self-control it does it does and i feel like a lot of the time when people feel like that they truly just are not getting anything out of this app you yeah. just delete it. I feel like with that one though, it's mainly TikTok that it comes down to. I've considered where they just, deleting Instagram, but like or Instagram. I feel like it's between TikTok or Instagram where people just completely delete it. Who? No, people don't even really use Facebook. Like that. Facebook is In my older opinion. generations. Yeah. Well, like I when I, I have a Facebook. When I find out people around my age have a Facebook, I'm like, what the? What are, What are you doing on Facebook? Like. Why are you there? I feel like even Twitter, to be honest, for our generation too. I feel like really? Twitter's a little more understanding, but like Facebook's like, why do you have that? Twitter is kind of a weird place. But I'm you not are there, connected so I don't know. to everything. Twitter is so funny. I don't have Twitter. I used to have Twitter, <laughs> but Twitter is so freaking funny. People have no filter on Twitter. Twitter no is filter. where things go to die. Things are born on Twitter and then they go to TikTok and Instagram, or people die. People. Oh no! no. <laughs> I mean, die. like. I don't know. Things are born there. Things die there. It's a whole circle of like having so much knowledge at your fingertips so constantly is a little it, scary too. It's like sometimes. overwhelming. And yeah, it can either like numb you or make you sharper. I see like people sharing about like things that are just going on day to day politically or just environmentally with like the whole Willow Project and stuff like that. I feel like it's nice to see people posting about that because I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have known but about that. But sometimes you don't need to know. But sometimes I think like, sometimes you don't need to know. Yeah, and I think that's a controversial opinion just because like I feel oh, like it depends on the be... subject though. I think you just don't need to know everything. I think it's good to keep yourself updated, but at the same time, yeah, you have an you have an essay due tonight. <laughs> you have a test tomorrow. Yeah. you have a big game Wednesday. A big game Wednesday, and the quarter is ending. Yeah, you hang out with your friend freaking Friday. And yeah. like, yes, I think it's good to kind of be aware of the world and how you can incorporate but it in your daily life. But not let it consume life. you. Yeah, but like things happening across the country you can't control. No, and literally. Like it's, it, you probably feel good to know that you have strong opinion on social justice. Yeah. But I feel like we are so consumed by the idea that we really have like ability to change it this second. Yeah. You know, and I think it's because there's only so place. little like you can do with yeah. petitions and stuff like that. And like, like go ahead, start yeah. that petition, but like, but how you far have is to that going to get you? Life, yeah. You know, that too. And like, there are people that dedicate their whole life to being activists and like go for it. Like, I totally support right. you. I would love to do it with you. But I think it's important to continue living. It's true, dude. I don't want to shirt. I don't want to uh -huh. serve people. Like, I'm here to do what I want to do. Yeah. You're here to do what you want to do. So right. let's do it in the most healthy, positive way possible so we can all be happy. There's only so little you can truly do. As mm. like, as a literal high school student, there's only so little you can do. Yeah, and like there's nothing so, wrong with like learning and keeping yourself updated. Or like, even like sharing it so other people can know about it. Cause well, there's I feel like, like, there's a, yeah, there's a point where like, you're just doing it to make yourself feel better. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Have you got to that point before? Not entirely. Yeah. But I feel like there was a point where, like, so it's too much. It can be too much. And I remember I used to, like, share a lot of posts, especially when it was, like, Black Lives Matter movement was happening. Like, 2020 over COVID. Yeah. Same. same. That was me. A lot of, I was, like, sharing everything. You but know, like, there's a point in time, up. there's a point in time when, like, when it just becomes so draining. Yeah. yeah. And I think that is a privilege, though. I think it is a privilege to say, hey. I don't want to deal with people's trauma today and you just push it to the corner. That is definitely a privilege. And you kind of have to be aware of that. Like some yeah. like some people, it is their daily lives where they're constantly fighting for something. There is no point in filling yourself with information that you're not going to use. Yeah. And I feel, it's, this is hard for me to describe. Someone's family, right? Like their daughter went missing, okay? And you could spend months and months and months researching it and putting your all into it, like, not to help them, but just because you want to know. And it's yeah. like, it's really noble of you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that rude? It's no. really noble of you, but like, you are not actively working to change it. You're not actively working to help them. You're literally just traumatizing yourself. 
you're literally not doing anything other than traumatizing yourself. No, literally. Because you're not putting in any effort to do No, anything. literally, this is like, reminding me. You. This is reminding me, I think it was just yesterday, mm -hmm. a YouTuber I watched, she posted about this situation basically where this girl mm -hmm. around our age, she lives in Australia, I want to say somewhere, Queensland, something mm -hmm. like that. Or maybe that's not even Australia. I don't know. She lives somewhere that's not in the U.S. though. She basically was invited Ooh. to someone's house to have like a sleepover, you know. Sleep but then basically so these two girls just basically started beating her up, name calling her, like injured her, like pulled out a whole knife. And I was just, I was looking at all the stuff. But like at the end of the day, like I learned about it, but, but that was it. You just consumed something negative. Like yeah. you, that wasn't like beneficial you're to not, me. You're not going to start a petition. Mm -hmm. You're not sharing information to pretty much bring awareness to people. Yep. You're not like pushing for a bill to be passed. You're not sending their con like condolences to them. Exactly. Like I'm so sorry this happened to you. Or it's like, not even in your career. No, like, like it's if not, you're not like, like you're a not Congress person. Like you're not in politics like that. Like, like you're not an activist. No, like, and like. No, like, I think it's important in your daily life to, like, know about stuff, to know what happens in the world. Right. But if you're every single second, you are just consuming trauma, you yeah. hate your right. balance because you want to be a good person. You don't want to be ignorant, but it, you can't let your life be consumed. And we got so off topic. <laughs> yeah, slightly. Yeah. But <laughs> I feel like that kind of ties into the other part we're going to talk about with mental health, though, yes. because... Taking care of yourself in a digital age. Yeah. Like how you can really feel good. Because yeah. you, like, you know what? It's not just political stuff. Like, being force-fed people's stories. Like even what you were saying with, like, FOMO, I feel like sometimes people let that get, like, the best of them. Mm -hmm. Or, like, even back to what we are saying with, like, relationships. Like, they're just chasing after the next person mm -hmm. and not even like taking like, the time to work on just themselves chasing 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 but working. they're not chasing themselves that's the no. thing like they're not figuring out who they are as a person they're not figuring Everything out what external. they like they're not figuring out like who they want to be who they want to become what hobbies they like like what they want to do outside of relationship like, i feel like that's when like why whenever i do get into a relationship i cannot be with someone that's clingy I need someone that likes their own passions, likes to do their mm -hmm. own things because I like my independence and I've had my independence for way too long. It's like at the end of the day, who are you outside of your your relationships? Mm -hmm. Like whether it be your friends, an actual like romantic relationship, your family even, like who are you at the end of the day outside of everyone that you're around? And how are you pouring into yourself before you pour into others? Mm -hmm. And how are you, like, how are you taking care of yourself at the end of the day? Like, I feel mm -hmm. like as long as someone does at least a little something every day mm -hmm. to take care of themselves, even if it's literally, like, waking up. Yeah. Or even if it's, like, literally just making your bed. Like, especially since I do not like the winter season mm -hmm. and I like the sun. I thrive in the sun. I feel like it's so easy. Depression. Yeah, I feel like it's so easy for people to get carried away with that. And, like, they, they just lose themselves to that. because. Till summer comes back. Till summer comes back. And so it's like, what can you still do in the meantime to still make yourself happy as best as you can? You know what? I think this video should be called This Generation Needs Love. <laughs> this generation needs some love. This generation and does need some generation. love. And no, like, this is really specifically just... self-love. Yeah. I think that's where people get caught up sometimes, though, is they need self-love. You don't need other people to love you. Yeah. As long as you love yourself, you don't need to find that instant gratification, like... Sorry, I was saying from other people. If you're already, if you're already solid, <laughs> oh, what are you? you already have a solid foundation with yourself. You're, you're chilling. Yes. You're literally fine. But yes. I feel like sometimes people forget that. I do too. You know, and you know sad. what? It's not a this generation. It's our generation. It's like yeah, we're part of the problem. We have social media. We interact yep. with people. Sometimes we feel like we need things instantly. We receive yeah. things instantly. Like it's or we, we only, only post so the best much. things. Yeah, like yeah. We, <laughs> we can only talk so much because you know we live it. Right. And I don't want to be a part of a video that's like, oh, this generation sucks. I want to go back to the sixties. Yeah. No. Like, no, that's not what we're talking no, about. No, literally. Well, because like. Because here's the thing, I feel like people that are like, oh, we need to go back to the 50s, we need to go back. If we went back to, if we went back to the 50s or 60s, inequality, 
racial inequality would be so worse than what it is today. Like, it's slowly getting better. It's still not great, let's mm -hmm. be real. But I feel like in every generation, like every decade, there's something wrong. Yeah. No matter what generation and or you can't what escape era you, know, you, you go can't to. Escape, you exactly. Know? You can't just like, oh, I wish this was different and escape to it. You kind of have yeah. to live life in a way like and accepting work around things it. how they are. Yeah. You know? Things are how they are, so you have to move forward. Social media still at the end of the day has brought so many positives. I think sometimes mm -hmm. people forget about that. I think it brings people together. It's brought awareness yeah. to so many things. Like you So many. Like what we're talking about, like keeping yourself aware but not overwhelmed. Yeah. I feel like there are some things that happen across the world that I feel like I feel like I should know. You know, exactly. like it affects me somehow still. And, and I feel like because didn't of social, have social media, media yeah. Like you know what's going on. And it's mm -hmm. not just people, but like even news sources. Like it's a way to share information. Right. So I think that's pretty powerful. Yeah. And we've been recording for a long time. Yes, we, we have been. Be a lot of you. We have been talking for a while, but it's okay. Right. I love to end it off. I want us to share our favorite and least favorite things about this generation. Not necessarily like things that we wish we could change as our least favorite things about this generation. But just like how it is. But just based on how it is, yeah. you know? Something I like. Uh, about our generation it's like you know what instant gratification isn't good but i do like getting stuff delivered to my house <laughs> i'm very grateful to be in a generation where i can be connected with people that live yeah. far like the instant part like a lot of time it adds to a lot of negatives a lot of positives but it's just how it is yeah. you kind of have to use it in a way that's positive well, one of the things i hate is people are like very confused about who they are i'm gonna give an example right now freaking i we live in a very it's not very diverse but um sometimes i'm like the only black kid in the class sometimes i'm not and this girl suddenly well, no. had a black scent like a really bad black scent first off we were just talking about this because i feel very passionate about it like first she's passionate so get ready like, like african-american vernacular english specifically you could like write it off as saying you're from the south we're not from the south she's not from the south she don't talk like that ever she never talked like this and but suddenly she this girl freaking she was from new york using aave cutting off her very long acrylics and she suddenly had so much to say a big black scent upset yeah me, like, I really do not care if you're black or, or people, not, but the attempt to mm -hmm. be geared towards a stereotype bugs me so much. Yeah. And that's not even the worst part. Every time this lady would use language that portrays this very specific stereotype because she found it cool, it, um, she would look at me. <laughs> she would be like, blah, blah, stereotypical nonsense. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm just like, look, she's literally it's giving right me. in front of me. It's she's giving, literally right. It's giving well, pick why me. Why does she want me to pick her? Like, I'm sorry, it just bugs me. People bug me. People piss me off. That's what I hate about this freaking generation. It's not this generation. Old people piss me off too. <laughs> That's all. Where are you from? Um, Washington State? No, where are you really from? Really? From? Ow, oh, you want me to get my ancestry DNA for you? My favorite things about this generation, I would say, is just the connectedness. Mm hmm because I feel like a lot of the time too, like social media, a lot of people have met like people that they like actually just became friends with or whatever because of social media alone. Mm -hmm. Or like people are just able to easily communicate with their friends or stay in touch with their friends mm -hmm. because of social media. I will say the negative thing is in my opinion, I feel like this just all around, whether it be social media, your mental health, dating, whatever, is just people not knowing how to find stability by themselves mm, and being able to just love themselves before yes. they try and find that from other people. That is not all. Yeah, we talked I like how we were low-key matching today without even planning. I planning. like it. It's, it's hilarious. Really you guys fun. enjoyed. Yes, thank you if for so, watching. If so, give it a like. Also, comment anything down below, anything you just want to add to our conversation today. Or if you want to talk to us with us or yeah. tell us what you want us to talk about next time yeah literally i want to start doing this with so many people just yeah. start talking about so many different topics talking too. is fun it is it's actually just like talking about 
not artificial things, you know? I like Not it. your day-to-day -day stuff. I like it. But I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.